Well, Morris was just about to take over my job, so <laughs> it's now time for Mind Your Language with Willis the Wordmaster. Let me bring him in. He's coming to us live from Kisumu County. Willis, it's great to see you. How are you doing? Uh, Betty, I'm fine. And as I said one time, it's great to hear you asking how I'm doing. <laughs> All right, Willis. <laughs> well, uh, let's kick this off with uh, Word on the Street. The word I see here is sagacious. 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 <laughs> sagacious. 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 Right, that word will is spelled S A G A C I O U S. <laughs> how does how does it go, Willis? <laughs> Even I, I don't want to try. I don't want to try. But that. in the first place, uh, uh, I think uh, there is a problem that is uh, with the graphics because mm. of the word on display uh, is a wrong spelling. But thank you for also noticing that, Betty. Yes. Uh, the word is S A G A C I O U S, yeah. and we say sagacious, right. sagacious. Uh -huh. That is wise. And remember, we say sagacity, mm -hmm. but we have a sage, uh -huh. a sage. All but right. the word in question is sagacious. Sagacious. Got it, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Do we say this has been a sumptuous meal? Um, sumptuous. Uh, how do we go about that one? What we should avoid, Betty, is saying sumptuous or sumptuous. The correct pronunciation or the acceptable pronunciation of that word is sumptuous. 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 Sump so is the, do you say, yes. is, do you um, uh, say sump or is it sumptuous? Sumptuous or sumptuous? You say sump. That Some. P is pronounced okay. or articulated. Articulated is the word. Okay. Sumptuous. Sumptuous. Yes. Got it, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Do we say vitamin or vitamin? Well, the pronunciation in British English, or RP for that matter, is V, vitamin. Letter I takes the short or pure vowel sound, E, V, vitamin. But you may hear of vitamin in North American English. All right. But the correct pronunciation is vitamin. You say vitamin, but mm -hmm. remember when we talk about correct, Betty, sometimes we talk also of preference. There are people who may prefer the American way of pronouncing some English words. But when we are keen on what we call RP, that is the standard form of British pronunciation, that is considered to be correct or acceptable, we say vitamin, V, vitamin. Vitamin. Got it, Willis. That, does that also go for vitality or vitality? We say vitality. Okay. Vital, vitality, not vitality. Got yes. it, got it. Moving on to this other word, do you say deviation or deviation? The D, D comes again. How do we go about that one? We, letter E takes the long vowel sound E, D, deviate, deviation, not deviate, deviation, deviate, deviation. All right, that's new for me. I've always read that word as deviation. <laughs> Got it, Willis. Now I know better. <laughs> it happens, Betty. It happens. Yeah, like you always say, no one is perfect. Okay, <laughs> moving on to this. That is it. Okay, moving on to this other word, and I'll spell it out for you, Willis. C O N S E C U T I V E. 
Oh, you are talking about what we pronounce as consecutive. Mm. Consecutive. Okay. So, most people say consecutive, <laughs> which is not the proper pronunciation of that word. Uh -huh. Consecutive, no. Uh -huh. You say consecutive. And okay. Betty, remember we also say executive, executive, or executive. So, that one has alternative pronunciations. Confused. Ex exec executive. Not executive. Executive or executive, but not uh -huh. executive. So is it also, so is it not executive too? I'm saying this, Betty. Uh -huh. The word that I've added there is yes. executive. 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 But you can okay. also say execu executive. But what we should avoid is mm -hmm. executive. Got it. Okay, that's a new one. That's a surprise. <laughs> we'll okay. Moving on to this other word. Cucumber, cucumber. I hear also other people saying cucumber, cucumber. You know, uh, I don't know if it's swag. <laughs> so tell us, Willis. <laughs> How do we There go are people who say cucumber. Another friend of mine called Mwangi Ndegwa once also uh, really you know amused me when he talked of uh, sometimes uh, somebody trying to you know uh, mispronounce the word especially in guest and says shoshomba <laughs> <laughs> does that it happens that? sometimes <laughs> shoshomba <laughs> okay really. anyway okay <clears throat> Moving on. So, so how do we go about that one? Is it shoshomba or is it cucumber? Cucumber. <laughs> we say cucumber. Okay. Cucumber. All right. Got, got it. Got it, Willis. Yes. That was a funny one there. So moving on, moving on to the next word. Uh, it's our feedback question from Jackson Ongoro, and he wants to know: Do we say dysentery or dysentery, or is it even? Or is it z? Which one is it? Is it dysentery? You know, you've mentioned the name Jackson Ongoro. That is one person with a wonderful command of English. In fact, in Kenya or Africa, if you like. You know, just like Patrick Okoyo and uh, Lona Wamboi. You know, these are people you sometimes just tell them you deserve a pat on the back. But on the word given to us tonight by Jackson Ongoro, you say dysentery. Decentry. Decentry. Okay. You don't say dysentery, dysentery, no. Okay. Decentry. Okay. Willis, today you have the funny bone going on <laughs> in Kisumu. <laughs> Moving on to, uh, do we have a surprise word tonight? Well, uh, we have uh, uh, the surprise word tonight, Betty, is uh, from somebody called Eric Mabea. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eric Mabea uh, asked me uh, to use this word tonight because he, he has many people saying magnesia from what we see. I've yes. sometimes told people that not all words are pronounced the way they are spelled in English language. So this one we say magnesia mm -hmm. or magnesia magnesia or magnesia but okay. not magnesia right. remember we also say magnesium magnesium mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. magnesium <laughs> so okay got it willis. <laughs> okay willis uh... you know that one comes from where and uh, betty finally we also have lazarus magara and eric nyamwea asking about these two words uh -huh. you may notice that there is no line that i've drawn tonight uh, between the two uh, words mm -hmm. and this one is for a very very important reason or important reason if you like mm -hmm. and this is to say the two words are pronounced the same way despite the difference of spelling or in spelling and meanings so we say profit for both words don't say profit the way we normally say locally. So you say profit. That may be a surprise to many people. And we also say profit for P-R-O-F-I-T. 
So Lazarus Magara and Eric Nyamwea should know these words are called homophones. Homophones, words which have different spellings and meanings, but pronounced the same way, Betty. Hey, hey Willis, today you are on a roll. I'm surprised. So it's not prophet, prophet someone. It's actually it's prophet. prophet. We say prophet. Hey, okay, even my director is asking seriously. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a surprise, Willis. I know. You can remind them about uh, the Twitter handle. Definitely, Willis. If you want to know more about how to pronounce certain words like profit and not profit, join uh, or follow uh, Willis the Wordmaster on his uh, Twitter handle at Willis Ocheng1. And it's Willis with an I-C-E at the end. Yeah, that's how, that's why he is the word master. <laughs> so that's thank you so great, much. That's great, Betty. And yeah. uh, bye for now. Tell the director, profit. Profit and not profit. Got it. Willis the word master there. Joining us from Kisumu County with those pronunciations uh, like profit. Now we know. You can always get him right here on Mind Your Language. <laughs>